Hello and welcome to this week celebrating the feast days of popular saints. Yesterday we learnt about the life of St Patrick, the patron saint of Ireland, and tomorrow is the feast of St Joseph, the patron saint of Canada. Today we will learn about Thomas Stevens, who is as yet not a Catholic saint, but is included here as he was a Jesuit. The Jesuits were an important missionary group who travelled around the globe, including to Goa in the 15th century, headed by St Francis Xavier, a special saint in Goa. The current head of the Catholic Church, His Holiness Pope Francis, is also from this illustrious order. The Jesuits set up as the Society of Jesus devote much of their time to learning, to scholarship and to the formation of knowledge and understanding. The Jesuits in Goa are represented by the Xavier Centre of Historical Research in Porvrim, where there is a library and a centre for learning and advancement. Next to the centre is the Thomas Stevens Konkani Kenda, TSKK. It is also a Jesuit research institute, working on issues related to Konkani language, literature, culture and education. Father Thomas Stevens was born in Wiltshire around 1550. He studied in Oxford and he travelled to Rome. He became a Jesuit in 1575 and he was missioned to Goa in 1579. He served as a parish priest and a superior in Salset, Goa until his death in 1619. He is best remembered for his linguistic and literary scholarship, known as the father of Christian literature in India. He produced the first printed grammar of what is now called the Konkani language, as well as a catechism in Konkani. This was the second printed book ever to be published in an Indian language. In the early 1600s, Stevens wrote an 11,000 stanza epic poem, the Christia Purana, a mix of Marathi and Konkani, adopting the lyrical verse form of the Hindu Puranas. It retells Bible stories from the creation to the time of Jesus. These were in regular use and popular. They were sung as hymns of praise in Goa until the 1930s. Father Thomas Stevens is also included here as he is considered a saint in other traditions. And as far as we know, he remained a faithful Jesuit. Stevens is recognized and regarded by many scholars and theologians as someone who worked in very difficult circumstances on interfaith dialogue and understanding. And as such, he has left a lasting legacy of material to inspire us today. The reading for today is from one of his well-known works, the Krista Purana, part two, chapter 20, verses seven to 14. On Christ entering the wilderness, this retelling of the biblical account by Stevens and Marathi has been translated by Father Nelson Falcao. He climbed to the top of the mountain. There was neither water nor trees. There was a cave in that mountain Inside that rocky hollow, he stayed meditating. 
Thus he passed time at that place, daily contemplating and meditating. He gave up hunger and thirst. The Lord himself sat among the dumb animals. Tigers and lions became tame like sheep and were sitting around his feet. Whenever he went somewhere, they too went with him, some preceding, some following. They leaped and frolicked and played in different ways. The tigers did not attack the goats and the goats were not afraid of them. While Jesus Christ was there, everything was peaceful. And therefore, that desolate forest place looked like heaven as there was no fear and no disaster on account of Jesus. Then after 40 days were gone, the Lord was hungry and thirsty, but still remaining without food and water, he waited for Satan. We end the journey for today with prayers offered for tolerance in interfaith dialogue and for an increase in understanding, for peaceful and harmonious ways for communities to come together in the spirit of sharing culture, language, and religious customs. Tomorrow, we meditate on St. Joseph, the heart, soul, and mind of the Holy Family, as we celebrate one of the feast days dedicated to the Holy Father of Jesus and husband and companion to Mary, his wife, and the mother of Jesus. Thank you.